St. Germs Wood Station. This is the famous walk that they had on the cover of the of one of their albums. I used to come here and read on a regular basis. I'd sit on the bench and I'll just read. And the best thing about it is people were always, and I mean always, coming here and creating traffic. just um, at St. John's Wood Station. It turns out I didn't have to even go there. I could just come straight to Leicester Square. Okay, so I'm, I'm shook. Oh my God, there's so much candy. What the hell? They say happy Easter and stuff on them. So I'm just camping at the new cinema because my battery is dying. I feel like we no longer live without our technologies, which is fine, right? Who cares if we have to be plugged into the wall in order to survive? And by survive, I mean be able to listen to music on the underground. <laughs>
I'm just on the train back from London. So here's what happened. The concert began. The artists came came out of the smoke and then onto the stage. It began beautifully. So Shannon's playing those drums and all the lights come on and it's absolutely manic, it's beautiful. Obviously Jared comes out and starts singing. Funny thing is, um, where the hell was Tomo? Tomo was nowhere to be seen. He's still in the merchandise, but he wasn't there. Now either I'm missing something, anyway. Like right at the front barriers. I'm happy, like I am super duper happy where I am and what's happening. And as it is the end of the show, they always get more people to come on stage. But because I was alone, I asked her throughout the concert, can she let me into the VIP area? Just to open the gate and let me in. And she was like, no. But then it gets to the end of the show. They're getting to get more and more people to go on stage. I'm like asking her, can you just let me through? I'm the only one with me. To which she just wasn't shoving. It was a little bit like, you know what, I accepted the fate of me not going to the front again. I note, in 2010 when I went to see them, I was this close to getting to the stage. But this year, I was even closer. She just wasn't budging. And there's this other bouncer. He's really nice to me all night. So, I don't know what happens or what kind of magic happens, but I think he had something to do with it because I end up sliding into the stage. I got to fulfill my 15 year old dream and go on stage for 30 seconds to Mars. Honestly, it was the best feeling. Like, I felt so happy on the inside. I was about like arm's length from Shannon Leto. So I might have put the camera and my camera died. So there was actually a point where I was recording when I was on the stage and the camera just died. But I did take this baby. Got some merchandise. All of them. I found this one. I found this one. Everything is nice. And at the back, it was it's white, which matched my can I just can I just show off my tights? These were my tights. I just want to say one thing before I go. It is the little things that matter in life. Live your life every day to the fullest. Let anybody stop you to do anything. If you have this feeling inside of you that's leading you towards something that you want, Follow it. Do not be afraid. As afraid as you can be, do not be afraid to just let go and follow what you really, really want. At the end of the day, sometimes you have to go through the hardships. You have to go through the bullshit to appreciate for something amazing that's going to come out on the other side of it. When I was going to see this concert today, I was going alone and I'm leaving alone, but I had an amazing time. I got to go on stage. I was literally at arm's length from the artists. I met a group of really good people. And I just want to say thank you to everybody that has somehow made my day amazing because it has been really good.